I guess this will be our <coughs> purple CF fact oh, of yeah. the day is that some cystic fibrosis patients get a port. And some use pick lines. <laughs> Don't forget to laugh every day. <laughs> I had some really bad news. First of all, good. Ah! My bad. Good, good morning. morning. Um, I just realized I forgot to take all trace. And you ate like an hour ago. Well, yeah, and I ate like some of the salsa chicken and chips and cheese. Uh oh. So, I'm probably going to have a pretty good stomach ache later. Bummer. I do not usually forget. I'm usually like yeah. neurotic about it. But I just this realized is like a that rare... I forgot it. Yep. And I just ate something else as well. So that's why I was taking all trace and that's when I realized I didn't take all trace with lunch. <coughs> oh man. Oh well. I guess. That's, that's life. With CF. Is your head okay? Not collision. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey guys. Welcome to hey. Guys, check it out. Mary has been working hard. She is weeding t shirts and she's got a bunch of the little decals done for the back of the shirts. I've got a new setup here. Yeah, she's got quite the setup. <coughs> Just sitting at the pool table. And looks like she's looking at your comments now. You guys are awesome. Hey guys. We are about to eat some dinner. It's well, first we gotta make it. Yes, we gotta make it. And we are gonna do a separate video for you guys. Whenever we cook, you guys seem to like it. So we're like, well, we'll cook some more for you. And we're gonna yeah. do this. We have a special video for you guys. And I think you'll like it. It's got some creative ideas. And it'll either be today or tomorrow. Yeah, so. we'll post it sometime. Yeah. So we're gonna go do that, and we'll see you guys later. And Ollie's gonna just relax while we do that. <laughs> Did I startle you, Ollie? I was just showing the people that you're just relaxing. It's okay, you can go to sleep. Dinner time. Here's our dinner, and if you guys wanna see what it is, you can watch our new video. If it's not up today, it'll be up sometime soon. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. All right, Mary just finished doing the dishes. Good job, baby. Thank you. And we are going to head I downstairs. Like super, super exhausted. Yeah, she was feeling like this last night too. Yeah. It's like usually, or like usually, like sometimes she has a second wind this time of night where she's just like has energy and it's like, okay, let's work on the store or whatever. But the last couple nights, she's been more worn out. Super worn out. But, so. what else? What else? I gotta go to bed because we gotta go to clinic. Oh yeah, and we have to get there semi-early so that we can get started with, it's a long visit where they do lots of tests and stuff, so. Oh, um, I just remembered we'll probably eat pizza for lunch. Oh yeah. how good that pizza is. Oh yeah, that'll be good. Oh, and I got a coupon from Alban Pond for my birthday. Nice. So I think it's for coffee and a bakery item. Well, there you go. There you go. Although that's not the birthday gift. It isn't? The birthday gift, you usually get an entree from them. Oh, I thought. Uh, so this might be something different. Maybe they just gave it to me for fun. <laughs> oh, for my birthday month. That must be what it is. For sure. For sure. What do you think, Ollie? You think it's for my birthday month? Where's Ollie? Where'd Ollie go? Where's Ollie? Where's Ollie? Oh, oh there, there he is. is. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> Come snuzzle. This is. Should we go? This is what we call snuzzling. Snuzzle. Ollie. Snuzzle. <laughs> that was that's his greeting of choice and yeah. so we put a name to it yep it's awkward when he's greeting our friends or family like if we're just hanging out at the house and somebody comes over and he's like hi 
hi. He puts his head there. Because mm -hmm. that's, that's how everybody greets. Like, what if we did that? <laughs> awkward. Okay, so what else? Ollie and I took a shower. So yeah, that was fun. And I've been doing that the last few times is like, instead of giving him a bath and like using a pitcher to wash him off, I'll just get in the shower with him and shower him off. Yeah, it works. It works. Nice. And, and we're then... gonna do my port tonight because I need to have it accessed for tomorrow. It'll just be one last thing to do tomorrow morning. So here we go. Yeah, so Mary has CF clinic tomorrow for her research study that she's in and they have to do two blood draws for it, so that's why we're accessing her port. I might for that. get blood drawn. Remember I did the vaccination? Oh yeah. I'm not sure if that's going to be this time or not. Okay. So, we'll see. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and access her port. Plastic up or down? Tiny up. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The work, port babe. is accessed. And if you guys are new around here, let me take my mask off so you can hear me. We have two videos showing how to access a port of cath One is one me showing how to do it, and one is Mary doing it on her own. So I'll leave those videos linked in the description if you're interested in watching those. If you're like me and you're a medical junkie, like anything like that's interesting to me. Mary <laughs> cracks me up. She gets on like... She jumps into the YouTube rabbit hole sometimes of medical stuff, like she'll discover a new disease and watch videos about it for hours. And um, just like, I love that about her. She just like wants, like genuinely wants to know about what other people go through. And apparently Ollie just found a taxi under the couch. <laughs> Oh. There must be something else under there. What else, <laughs> what else is under there? <coughs> well, okay. good job, baby. Thanks. Good and job, I guess this will be our <coughs> purple CF fact oh, of yeah. the day is that some cystic fibrosis patients get a port. And some use pick lines. Yes. Or 
tunnel lines or mm -hmm. central lines or basically they it is to hold on brief interruption he's in his post post bath crazy stage do you guys get that do your dogs? I, I get that after i take a bath i just go crazy yeah you love to run in the yard <laughs> yeah so so the purpose of a port or a pick line or a central line or whatever the patient has is to do iv antibiotics most often yeah i think there's other uses but most often it's for IV antibiotics. Yeah, like, um, I mean, other kinds of patients, like cancer patients would get one for chemotherapy, but um, it's to have IV access to your body. Yes, instant IV access. And I was thinking the other day, it'd be interesting for me to sit down. My sister had a port before she had her transplant, and it'd be interesting to sit down with her and talk about pros and cons of having a port, because when I'm thinking about it, her experience with a port is a little bit different than mine in that I remember through high school, um, her port had a few issues and I remember having to go in to the um, infusion people. I don't know, she would have to tell you guys about it, but it would be interesting to sit down with different people and talk about the pros and cons of that. I know for Mary, it's been a huge pro. Like, she loves having a port. I've had like one issue. A few times it has not drawn back blood, and one time, you know, a few months ago, it had that weird, like, clicking noise in it, and then it wasn't flushing. But then all of a sudden, magically, it was working. So I've had really one problem in 11 years. So I think mine is kind of a rare port, but yeah, anyway, so. Yeah, but it is, in many ways, a blessing to not have to go for her not having <coughs> to go and get a pick line yeah. every time that she has to go on IVs. For sure, I'm very thankful um, for that. But it's a decision that every kind of patient makes, whether they want a foreign object in their chest or all. There's a lot that goes into that. Yeah. But yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's not what? It's not just like a. You have to, you know, you have to be okay with having. Yeah. It's the reality that it's not just like, I was trying to think of like, it's not just like a butterfly. I don't know why I was saying that. A butterfly. Like, it's not just a walk in the park. Like, it is yeah. a foreign object in yeah. your body. So you have to be okay with that. And yeah. The surgery, um, for me, from what I remember 11 years ago, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I was sore for a few days, but I think it's different for everybody. I think it's different how deep they put it. You know, mine's like right under the skin. So I didn't have like a ton of muscle or anything that had to reheal or anything like that. So I think it all depends on the person, but yep. um, I, I recommend it. From my experience, I recommend it, but I'm sure for other people it's different. And so yep. it's just a decision that each person has to make. So <coughs> thank that, you guys for yeah. coming along and watching us stick a needle in my wife. <laughs> Poor Mary. Poor Mary. I didn't. That one didn't hurt very bad. Good. Good job, baby. I I still get nervous every time. Really? Yeah. Oh. You do awesome. Thanks. And I'm very thankful for him. Have I ever mentioned that? Well, I am. Well, I'm thankful for her too. And give her a <laughs> thumbs up for sleeping with a needle in her chest tonight, just to get <laughs> blood work tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, all for the name of CF Research. Yep. And if you guys want to come along tomorrow, we'll see you in the vlog showing you CF Clinic and what the research clinic looks like tomorrow. Yep. And as, as always, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Hopefully, I don't look sketchy hiding behind this sign. For sure. Yeah. These cars like don't know why looking at me like. Yeah, she's weird.